Hello everyone. So in this lecture, we'll be uh, working on the base of the counter. Okay. So for the base of the counter, we need to uh, set the counter um, character, right? Counter reference. Um, so what we should do is in the C++, I'll just make the counter reference okay like we have set the current enemy it will do the same thing um instead of set current enemy we will set the counter enemy and uh, the get will basically get the counter enemy okay Now, once this is done, uh, that's all we need uh, from the C++ part. So, what I'll do is make sure you run from the C++, okay, uh, debug. Okay, so now once it is loaded, uh, we can go back to our ACFFCC component and set the counter enemy. Right now, this will be similar to the current enemy. So, counter enemy. Uh, make sure you have it private. Okay, same as the current enemy. And on the override the get and delete the parent. And over here, set the counter enemy, and that is done. Now, for now, we only have only will only have one counter enemy. Okay. Later on, we can have multiple, and the code will change later on. But for now, this is it. So the next thing is, let's go to the AI director over here. We set the attack player, right? So once the attack player has been set, uh, since it was done in C++, it tries to open that. So let's go ahead and open up the grunt. And the enemy component as well. So we have set attack player over here. So over here itself, uh, Make, the, make some space over here. And I didn't do a uh, is valid check for this, so I'll do it over here for the blackboard. Okay, there we go. So, from the blackboard itself. We need to set, no, sorry. Uh, we don't need the blackboard, my bad. Um, actually, we do, right? Uh, my bad. Uh, get object and this one is target actor so I had a space in between okay so from here I'll cast to character I'll make it pure then we'll get component by class and this one will be the ACFFC again uh, we need a is valid check and from here I will set 
counter enemy as this uh has the owner i'll get the owner now that is set now okay in the vp player we don't have the counter system made so uh the um input set so we'll go ahead go to actions i'll duplicate the attack i'll call it counter okay uh we don't need to do anything inside it i will make it the counter and right click could be counter so let's go below i a counter now from started we will get the ffcc set tag and make little gameplay tag i will add the tag add a subclass and this one will be countered okay and start it i'll set it to counter and we'll have to make sure that it matches both these tags we don't want to do it anytime else Okay, so once it has been countered, I'll right now let's do a print string and make sure that we are countering the correct enemy, right? Get counter enemy. I'll do it for ten seconds. Have it on yellow. Yellow is our player. Okay. Now. in the enemy component i'll also make sure that not make sure just get who the counter enemy is this would be in red and finally in the grant itself we have this text right and string and attacking and we'll get the reference to self so it shows who we are who's the account enemy so let's go ahead now bp grant 4 i counter i'm countering grant 4 which is correct now let's go 3 it says 3 i count at 3 okay so okay references are proper 3 3 okay 3 is fine mm, and again that is 8 i count at 8 it is fine so <laughs> it's all referencing to the proper enemies enemy okay which is good so now the next thing would be uh when i'm countering right so one would be last moment counters right basically uh, last moment counters would even count as the distance itself so we need to make a function where we check for the distance between us and the player where uh, sorry between us and the enemy when we are countering okay so let's go ahead and make a function not over here we'll do it in ffcc because we have our current enemy over here so get distance from counter enemy okay 
so we get the current enemy and we get the owner and we get the distance to the current enemy and we'll also divide this into uh, three parts right so the first one would be no need to play actually it can be divided into uh, just two parts right so if this is less than um, 500 let's say we don't need to do any return so not less than if it is greater than let's do it play teleport M per montage okay if it is greater than 500 let's say now you can have it exposed um, so I'll just go ahead teleport distance compile and make sure that is 500 and this one can be pure function right so over here um, now we'll get the FFCC get distance from counter enemy play teleport now depending on if we are playing the teleport or not so if we are playing a teleport we play montage Mm. Okay. and I need to check for a montage Yeah, this one seems fine. So I'll use this from the Lucy. So I'll counter charge. Okay, there we go. And otherwise, what I'll do is if it is less. Let's go to the enemy component. We have the stop movement and avoidance. Okay. I'll do the stop. Sorry. Get current enemy. Get component by class. Sorry. Get component by class now this is the enemy component and this would be um, stop movement and avoidance Now I can directly use a timeline over here. Okay. Uh, add timeline. So now this one would be counter. Uh, Report 
Now it will play from start always. We'll add a float track, call it alpha. Now this one will be really small, like 0.5. Could be smaller as well. I'll check that later on. And in 0.5, it will be 1. Now press these two buttons to be in to have them on screen both of the points. Change it to auto and make it smooth like this. So now we have the alpha. So we can select the location and rotation. Now Wait any teleport location. Target is find enemy offset. It's so you can teleport. Oh, we don't need teleport. Uh, actually, we can do love. This will be the alpha. This is the final, and we'll do it from get actor location. Right? So now let's go ahead and play. Obviously, there will be some bugs, but we'll check it in a bit. Now. Uh, yeah, there we go. Seven. Okay. So, yeah, we have some issues. None trying to read target. And obviously, it's not the current it is the counter that's why we are having this issue and also again that's why it's not stopping as well because it is the counter not the current my bad guys so let's go ahead there we go it's time to do the counter okay Yeah, this is fine. Uh, so once the counter has finished, the enemy, the counter enemy should go back to normal and Actually, uh, this will be reset in the after the montage has played the counter montage. Now, this is the teleport montage, right? Not the counter montage over here. Okay, remember that counter charge. So, it's not playing that. So let's go ahead and check this um, distance over here once. Uh, actually, it will not play from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tick over here and print this if this is valid. Okay, again, uh, right. That's why from counter enemy. Again, I'm doing it as a current enemy. Make sure that that is a counter enemy. Okay. My bad guys. So. Now if it is more than 500. Yeah, as you can see, it plays that uh, montage since it was more than 500. And now. Again, making sure that. If the distance is less than 500, yeah, it just doesn't play that montage which is a good starting for the counter itself 
Mm, but not enough. So, uh, where is it in the? Grant. Where are we actually making the logic over here? Sorry about that. I think it's in the um, behavior tree. So let's go ahead, open up the behavior, and okay, there we go. We are playing the montage over here. And we have this AI counter, right? In this AI attack collision. Now, this one is in C, right? Attack collision. Okay, so now we have to make sure that this attack, uh, this part does not run, right? This part should not run if we have already countered, right? So if we have uh, pressed uh, right click, we are going into the state, right? Countered. So we have to check that. Uh, FFC does not actually have the comfort tag, right? Then we are good to go. So let's go ahead and do it. Mm, you already have this FFC. So if FFCS get tag. Now tag collision CPP, where is the property so if gameplay tag now it requires the include gameplay tag container so add that over here okay include this uh, sorry include this one okay gameplay tag container dot h make sure the generator dot h is the last file okay you do not want to include header files after this, only before this, okay? So, in you'll al always add your includes in between core minimal and the generator.h in the header file, okay? So, make sure of that. So, countered, okay. Hit, collision, exclusion. Exclusion tag. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go back. Uh, now this one will be exclusion tag. What's wrong? It will issue exclusion. Okay, yeah, my bad. Oh, sorry. Um, get tag equal to equal to. If uh, it's not equal to this, then go ahead with this. Okay. So now I'll go to the 
blueprints make sure i save all close this and yeah now i'll run it again okay now once it loads up let's go ahead make sure to include the countered tag over here exclusion tag okay so now the first time round there will be a bug but let's check now this hit it will hit me okay fine come again i countered it no longer hits me see but now the problem with this is it will no longer hit me at all because we do not reset the countered tag at all right so for now just for now for testing purposes let's say once it has completed and once it has finished we will add a delay of one second and then we'll go back so yeah so we have something to reset to yeah now i countered yeah reset which is good uh no sorry it hasn't reset because this one i'll have to go to come back countered yeah there yeah, i get hit actually let's change i'll change it to i loop so i can move around and i get hit okay countered countered okay perfect i will get hit again yeah perfect counter perfect so it's working as it should which is good so now once this is done i need to make a logic for this counter over here right mm. that plays the montage over here now just fine i'll do this part in the next lecture okay for this lecture i'll just finish off with this one so now we'll play another montage this one will be the counter montage that plays and on completed i will set timer by function name sorry set timer by event first uh create event and this one will be reset point it okay now for the counter which one should i okay we already have one right so if i go to content finisher animation uh counter okay yeah so this is the we are using this one for the enemy so for the player this one will be the am underscore player counter 001 okay and make sure yeah it's not motion so i'll go back to the head no to the player play this counter okay and then i can reset so let's go ahead and test it out so yeah yeah so as soon as we do this there will be two things that we need to do 
one is uh, again go back to the finisher animations counter on the AI we have this low no. we'll open this one So over here, from the mesh component, again, uh, this becomes an issue with this one. So for now, let's go ahead, do it. But this will cause a performance issue with this. So I'll, later on, I'll have this converted to C++, but for this lecture, let's just go ahead and do it, because why not? Uh, get owner. Get blackboard. Make sure it's valid. Get object. Make literal name. <coughs> so this one will be target actor. Pass to character. Here. Get component by class. ACFFC. Make sure it is valid. From here, we will get tag. If it matches tag, that is countered. Exact match, right? Uh, and I'll promote this to a variable and reset the rate. Okay, I'll have this exposed. And it will basically play this. Okay, if it is stick. If it is true, we once reset. From the next component. And also uh, set next montage next section. This one is default. Next section is uh, counter, and the montage is conductive montage. Okay. So, yeah, we also have to make sure that we have a current counter enemy that is valid is valid <coughs> okay now yeah we can't do counter but if an enemy is valid it comes to me and no, it does not actually play. I want to do this first and then this one. 
Let's see. What happened? Hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So this is just the movement and the avoidance. Okay, fine. So what we can do is, if this doesn't work, as I had intended, we will link up the montages that we play for both, right? So for the counter enemy, from point by class, we can create a function and this one will be custom event play counter damage okay and obviously we will Play this and also once it is completed, interrupted and everything, we'll do this. And the montage to play will be a input. So we can go over here, play counter damage, and the montage will be this one. So let's go ahead. Right, yeah, better not to do it uh, directly over here. I'll create a montage. Um, this will be AM counter damage underscore zero zero one. Okay, so counter damage zero zero Yeah, there we go. So what we'll do is in the over here, we will not do this. We will blend montage stop. And blend out time would be point two, and the montage would be this one. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so it can be a bit more point five. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Yeah, the distance is something you need to actually figure out. Again, like I said, um, offsets, offsets, so is of offsets. 120 perhaps. Yeah, looks good. Mm.
So this one seems good enough for this for the starting okay starting lecture in the next one i will actually do the logic for the uh where it plays the montage and animation and does the counter okay and then finally um on the this is the second the third is this one in the fourth one i think within four uh, lectures uh, the counter system should be in a good place okay so thank you guys that's all for this lecture and as always uh, if you want to support me and the work that i'm doing you can um, subscribe to my patreon uh, it starts from just one dollar a month okay and also there are different uh tiers based on the needs uh, of different people okay so uh do check it out once thank you